Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? I'm gonna be doing something different today. I'm doing something a little different. I got a how-to video to go on today. Probably simple, but I know it's probably different for other car people that don't know how to work on cars. But so I was at work. Well, it been happened probably like a couple days ago, but the day I was at work leaving, then all of a sudden my uh, I mean, I, all of a sudden I hit the brakes. Then my jeans start like jumping, like da 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 da. I'm like, yo, what the world? I'm like, what's going on, man? So then my ABS light came on. So I'm like, yo, what the, what, what the world going on? So then next thing you know, it was like the trash control jump popped on with it. So I'm just like, all right, I mean, it's some dealing with the breaker system and that lock breaker system. So I'm just like, all right, cool. So a couple of days before it happened, when I left early in the morning, I'm like, yo, what the world going on? So then uh, it went off, it went away. Then like a couple of days later, today that ain't stayed on for the whole the whole ride home so i went try to go to advance to see if they can check it like with the obd2 jump and then they talking about they couldn't do it they can't check the engine lights and nothing. i ain't got no engine light but they was like they can't check it they can't do none of that so i went back i went to the dealership so they talking about they were packed up and they can't look at my car till till um monday so I said, forget it. You know what? I said, can you at least scan the OBD2 jump? So she scanned it and said it was my uh my right rear speed sensor. Knowing that's the same wheel I got that crack. I got that crack in the rim. So I don't know if that got nothing to do with it or not, but she gave me the paper or whatever. Oh, let me see. Damn, I can't even say, but that jump right there. That jump. But says active. But the loss of radio, I changed my radio out, so that's that's irrelevant. Uh uh loss of radio stored incorrect engine type. That's on them. But it say ain't nothing wrong with it. But store means nothing wrong with it, I shouldn't worry. But active mean I gotta fix it or get it get it right or whatever. But it say down here stored and valid data received from the N lock lock and the lock brake um system. So I feel like this right here is probably triggering that. But this say the control module is stored, so there's nothing wrong with that. But this up here says active, which is showing there's something wrong with it. So I don't really, I mean, I ain't going to say, I, 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 I'm not going to say I don't know what to do, but I know what to do. So I got my part. Or whatever and i'm about to just go ahead and knock this drink out and see if it'll if it'll go away but now if i like start the car or put it in the on position it, it go away so hopefully if i change the sensor it won't do that little boom, boom 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 every now and then or whatever but hopefully hopefully that don't be fixed but i'm gonna get i'm gonna go ahead and get to this drink try to let y'all see how i do it or whatever oh yeah let me also show you that that jump it, it'll come on but it'll go off like normal I ain't gonna start the car though. See, it went away. Ain't none of that. So the, the check engine light on is because my engine's not on. So, and it, trust me, ain't nothing wrong with, the, wrong with the engine. But you get the drift, but yeah, let me go ahead and start this right quick. All right, I got my uh, socket set out. So the tools you're gonna need for, the, for this job right here to install the uh, speed sensor is your 10. 10 millimeter and your, um, and your ratchet, ratchet and get this junk done also if you don't know where the speed sensor look like this would look like this part right here will connect to where the kind of where the back of the rotor is i got new clamps and this is the connector that'll connect to the uh towards the other side of the connector, the male end. So as you can see, that's where the, uh, the sensor is right here, right there. I gotta uh, get that bolt out right there. 
and just basically follow this wire right here. Follow it. And you can see how, it, how it'll come up. And here's the connector right there. So I had to unconnect this, follow this wire all the way back down to where this bolt is right here. And then just plug, it's basically plug and play, simple. It's not hard at all. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when I uh, get this one out and put the new one in. So now I just got the sensor out, but I don't know if that white stuff right there is like corrosion or what, but I don't know what it could possibly be that's really setting my ABS light off. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway though. Just to go ahead and get it out the way. All right, I got the uh, new sensor in, but I still gotta uh, follow this wire, the old one out to take it off. But as I'm putting it in, I put that new clip in to follow it right here. And I'm just following it back right here and putting it back into the, uh, to the old spots. Just to see, just so it will see where I'm going. Take that one out. Put this one in right here. See now this clip right here, I'm gonna place that one right there. This one. So yeah, try to take this off real quick. See if I can hold this phone and get it off at the same time. Nah, I can clip this out, but hold on. I'm gonna hold on. All right, so I got that clip off the old one. I'm not gonna lie to you, it, it gave me a little struggle because I guess it was it's old. But, but I got it off there. So now I'm gonna connect this one, the new one. Try to see if I can do this joint with one hand. Probably can't for real, for real. See how good I am with my hand right quick. God dang, I'm struggling. God dang. It's embarrassing. Hold on, man. All right, boy. I got that joint in. Shit. All right. Should be that good now. I'm going to stick these tabs. These two uh, little things right here, we gotta get them back in them, them two holes right there. Let's see if I can get them in there. All right, there she is. All done, got the new uh, rear uh, speed sensor in. Right side Dodge Challenger 2012 RT. Hope this solved the problem because if it don't, I might have to uh, change the modular. But there will be another video too. So I just got this out the way, replaced it. Hopefully, I'll be good. I'm about to start it up and see what I get. <laughs> got it in. I had to tighten down that uh, the bolt that connected into this right here. So when you connect it, you don't really need much torque on it. 
because honestly you don't have and honestly you don't have to take a towel off. Take a towel off might be easier, but I mean I got I really got small hands, so um it was easy for me to get my hand in there, take one turn with the uh, ratchet and I could twist it off my hand. Simple. And then when you put it back on, you can just return it with your hand and probably take one or two turns with with the ratchet. It's simple. Very, very simple. And it's easy. So uh this goes for uh Chargers Challengers. 08 2019 220 so it's very real simple real simple so it's a little how-to video on how to uh, replace the speed sensor so let me uh start it up right quick just to see if i get any codes Probably give y'all a little pull too, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't know yet. I gotta see how this thing act first. So far, ain't nothing came on. And my brakes, they not like doing that humpity bumpity jumpity thing. So I guess I guess everything good now. And the part I got it from uh advanced auto zone. In Hampton, in Hampton, Virginia. If y'all know what that is, whoever my uh, subscribers are, they live in Hampton or Newport News, Chesapeake, anywhere they know where Hampton is, Williamsburg. Uh, yeah, that's where I got the part from, and it was only fifteen dollars. I seen some other some other places. Um, they they said they brought they bought their uh part, and it was like thirty five dollars, but mine was only uh 15 well to be to where after taxes was like 16 50 16 20 something which isn't bad but uh yeah simple nothing wrong so far but i'm just going ahead and drive it and see what happens roll these windows down so y'all can get the full blown you know what i'm saying effect let y'all know how it is. Green. light and see my trash control is off but when it was when the abs would come on it'll have a car at the bottom of it with the squiggly lines but it wouldn't it's it's not the trash control but uh yeah should spin this thing around i ain't gonna do it Shit out the way. 
people who don't for the people who don't really want to work on their cars or whatever to get stuff done this is a part that you don't have to pay nobody to do dealerships was going to probably cost like four hundred dollars 167 to diagnose it but with something this simple you can go to AutoZone, Advance, O'Reilly's, and they can put the um, put the thing in the OBD, put the thing in the OBD two uh, switch, and uh, see what your problem is. And your everything uh should be good in this. That's simple. That's simple. You ain't got to spend four hundred dollars, but you can just spend fifteen to thirty-five to buy the part. Go to AutoZone, get it checked for free to figure out which wheel it is, and just put it on yourself. Simple as a ratchet and a 10, 10 millimeter uh, socket. So, yeah, simple. But if anything else pop up, if it do pop up, I am gonna give you an update, and then I'll probably just go to the dealership or go back to AutoZone and try to uh, change out the modular or whatever but so far I don't, I don't really i don't really see a problem so yeah that that uh that take care of this video right here yeah just simple